cruise news time. Well, a lot of folks ask, uh, when will the cruise lines do away with masks? When will they do away with testing? When will they do away with the jab? Well, one cruise line has come out and said, well, we're not doing away with it. Uh, we're keeping all that stuff indefinitely. How about that? Uh, cruise news, let's talk about it. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news updates. Well, can you tell where we're at? That's right, we are making our way. Well, now we're here. A uh, perfect day at Coco Cay, Royal Caribbean's private island. Uh, a beautiful, a beautiful oasis in the middle of the, the Caribbean Sea, part of the Bahamas. Uh, it's our last day. So sad. It's our last cruise day. Uh, tomorrow we disembark and go home. Uh, it's been a great week on Harmony of the Seas. I tell you what, uh, the, the ship is amazing. Uh, the, all the facilities, the entertainment, the food, all that stuff is amazing. But a big shout out to the crew. Um, above and beyond. Exceptional service all week long in every venue. I can't commend enough uh, the crew members on this cruise ship uh, doing their job during a challenging time for everybody. And so big shout out to the crew. Uh, yeah, the big shout out to the crew. I, it, it, it's amazing. I, these are some challenging working situations and uh, they're doing a great job and giving everybody, delivering everybody an excellent vacation. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. So a uh, quick recap of yesterday. Yesterday was a sea day. Uh, I worked most of the day yesterday. I put out a couple videos, but I did sneak off and play in my first ever poker tournament on a cruise ship. Just a sit and go, a, a 10 person sit and go. So it's basically a single table uh, poker tournament, uh, Texas Hold'em. And uh, at the end of the of the deal, I was I had all the chips. How about that? First place in my first live cruise ship tournament, uh, $150 buy-in, $780 win for first place. Uh, that was that was pretty cool. I did win the tournament with a 7-6 offsuit, and some astute poker players might say, well, that's not a premium hand. How did that go down? Well, by the time we made it to the final two, I was uh, a huge stack compared to just the, the second place person had just a few bets. Uh, final hand, second place person was small blind. I was big blind. Uh, they just called. They didn't raise uh, my big blind, so I just called. Uh, the flop comes uh, six king seven, so I flopped two pair, and uh, then I just uh, started shaking my head and started checking. Uh, we took the turn card, and I checked again. I was still shaking my head, and uh, the guy says, "All right." So he pushes his final chips in, and uh, I call, and he did not make whatever he needed, and I won the tournament. So that was uh, that was really exciting. I, I, again, it was it's such a rush, and uh, I was very excited. And then I the, I gambled again last night. I tested the fates. I played craps for, I feel like I played craps for four hours, if I'm honest. I think I started at uh, 8.30 and I quit about 12.30 and uh, I played all that time and I made $16. But either way, yesterday was a win-win. So that was uh, pretty exciting. And uh, I think that's really, yeah, I, it was lobster night. I had lobster, but uh, the shows, I'd already seen all the shows. And so yeah, that, that, that was that was the recap. Cruise news, the big cruise news is uh, Carnival has announced, uh, they, they put out a letter yesterday. I'm gonna read the letter to you because it's important. Uh, not only do they talk about their health protocols, but they also talk about a new verification system they're going to be using to keep up with people's uh, vaccine information. And then also a big update on testing at the port and they're, they're actually making that cheaper. And so uh, let me go through the letter. I'm gonna go through it in pieces and then uh, make sure you stay to the end, uh, one final trip to the towel animals this week uh, that have uh, worked so hard to bring you enjoyment. Uh, I got a new one over here. You see him. Uh, he's just chilling. Uh, I, I promise no harm to this towel animal uh, during this show. Uh, what? You want me to harm the towel animal? You guys are some sick people. And also, I ran a poll yesterday about yesterday's conversation. Uh, do you expect seats to be the same when you go on an excursion? I'll give you the update for that. All right, let's transition into the cruise news and carnival uh, dropping a big one yesterday. 
yesterday uh, sending out this letter. I recommend you read the letter. I did a version of the show where I read the letter, but it was like over 20 minutes, and it's just too much reading. So I'm going to give you the highlights. But uh, the big takeaway, Carnival announcing that the current protocols that they have now will be the protocols that they have uh, indefinitely until further notice. No end date in sight. And the reason they're doing that is they say very plainly they cannot predict the future and that these health protocols have been working well. Almost a million passengers served, 350 cruises so far. Uh, protocols that exceed the standards of the CDC and protocols that work for uh, locations that they're visiting. So uh, they want to make sure that they can go to the ports that they say they're going to go to. They want to make sure that passengers and crew and uh, people at those locations are safe. And so that means that Carnival will be sailing vaccinated only, uh, testing required, mass required cruises uh, going forward. Now they know, like the rest of us know, that that's not going to work for everybody, uh, everybody that's currently booked. And so they're giving an opportunity for people who are booked to get their money back. So this is important. Pay attention. Uh, these are for cruises that start in April 2022 and beyond. So if you have a cruise booked in April 2022 or into the future and you don't like the fact that these are going to be vaccinated only with all the masking protocols and all the testing protocols and everything that's going on uh, with the protocols right now, you have until February the 15th to request a refund. Uh, let me say those dates again. If you have cruises that are in April of 2022 and beyond on Carnival, you have until February the 15th to get a full refund if you're not down with these protocols. This is important because once you get to April, if you did not cancel by February the 15th, regular cancellation policies will apply. And regular cancellation policies uh, is a code word for it's going to cost you money if you're going to cancel your cruise. So Eyes wide open, guys. Uh, if you're Carnival Cruisers, you're not down with the protocols, you can get out of it by February the 15th. Uh, so do that. Now, Carnival also made two other announcements in that letter yesterday. I'm going to share those announcements with you. But first, let me quickly invite you to subscribe. If you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in cruising cruising, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. Uh, that way you don't miss out on any of these episodes. A big shout out to everybody that's new here. Welcome to the local fam. Uh, we're growing the army strong. We're trying to get to 18 million subscribers this year. We we're at 146,000. So we've got a ways to go, but we dream big. Uh, you can be a part of that number. You can be a part of the local fam by hitting the subscribe button notification bell. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, it just uh, alerts you when a new show is out. And it gets me to say to you, thank you in advance. So thank you in advance. Uh, big announcement number one, Carnival going to use technology to make embarkation easier. Uh, Verify. It is a system where you can upload all your paperwork, your vaccine card, your vaccine test, your uh, passport information, your driver's license information. You'll be able to upload all of that into an app before your cruise and then when you show up at the cruise terminal, you're not going to have to show all that stuff. So that's the point to make all that paper shuffling uh, easier or go away at the cruise port. They're going to pilot this with the select sailings on the Mardi Gras, but if it works out well, they hope to roll it out fleet-wide so that you can uh, just show up at the port with your little Verify barcode and uh, you don't have to show any of that paperwork. So that's good. Good use of technology. And then the other thing that they are working on is for three and four day cruises, having testing at the port cheaply. Uh, Carnival recognizes that the pre-cruise testing is a pain in the tuchus and uh, they want it to be easier and they want it to be reasonably priced. So right now there's uh, like a hundred dollar option near the terminal, uh, but now they're trying to work on a thing where for three and four day cruises, you can get tested at the port for just $10. Uh, and they're going to have more information about that toward the end of the month. I think that is solid. That's the big update. That's the big cruise news. Uh, let's transition over and talk about the poll I took about seating. And again, uh, tribute to the towel animals. But uh, yeah, this is much better than 25 minutes of me reading letters. But go read the letter. I'll leave a link in the description. Ugh. The, even the poll footage is annoying me. We're not doing the poll today. We'll talk about it later. You, you just want towel animal, towel animal. Hey, 
Stop Tal Animal Abuse today. Thank you so much for checking out the show today. I hope you enjoyed it. You can show your support by hitting the like button. And if you do not, if you do not hit the like button, you're going to have to hear me butcher that Sarah McLaughlin song over and over. I'll put it on iTunes. You can buy it if you like. This is Tony with La Lido Loca. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.